Hi Leslie, how are you? Oh, my voice was high pitched then. Hello there. Hi Jenny. Good afternoon. How are you ladies? Hello Tony. How is everybody? Good afternoon Jane, how are you? It's lovely isn't it Janet? Yes it's beautiful out today. I haven't been able to sit out, it's a bit too hot and my stomach's not brilliant this morning, this afternoon. Hello Lynn. Hello Joanna. I'm okay, are you? Hi Joe. Good afternoon everybody. <laughs> I like that little picture. That is that a cat or it looks like a little devil? <laughs> Hello, Catherine. Hello there. Oh, you know, Joe, sending hugs. I loved your artwork, Joe. It was fab. Fab. You've got your own little style now. I made sure I'm not late this time around. That's no problem, Isabel. I think we'll be a bit quiet today because obviously some people are having VE. Uh, street parties at a distance. Hello, Lucy. Just saw Chris's scones on my way. On my, on my way. Are oh, you on your way round for one? Hi, Autumn. Hi, Maureen. Yes, Chris's scones did look delicious, didn't they, Lucy? I think I don't know what it is, Maureen. Sometimes my uh, anxiety kicks off and then it sets my stomach off. I don't know why. Just got a funny stomach this afternoon. But hopefully being creative will take my mind off it. Hi Sue. Hi Liz. How are you Autumn? Good afternoon Samantha. How are you? I'm drinking water not gin. Hello Jane. Oh the ducklings. The sun bathing today. I went to the bottom of the garden to see if they'd let me walk past them. And I sat on the chair and there's sun bathing in the grass. It's so cute. Yes, sunny VE day it is, isn't it, Liz? Perfect for those of you having little uh, street parties. Not too bad, Jennifer. How are you? How are you? Hello, Eugenie. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. I hope you're all well. Hello, Karen. Hello, Pat. Joe's listening in from a sick bed. She's not very well. Yeah, my stomach's bothering me today. I don't know why. Uh, I I do suffer with that, Sue, uh, with other things. So, yes, it could be that. Although I've not really eaten anything, so. And Jane's having a lazy day, been feeling low this week, so trying to take a step back from the madness. I don't blame you, Jane. Sometimes I wonder whether, you know, just the situation gets us down a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I've got but butterflies in my stomach, Rizwana, but sort of a nervous stomach, you know, like when you're doing an exam. But it's not because of the live or anything, it's just it's weird. My eldest is poorly with tummy ache. Oh, no, Shabnies. Sending hugs. Hi, Kim. New pictures of the ducklings. Okay, Gayla, they're so adorable. And Je <laughs> Janet, you're going to get a reputation. Janet's got a G and T, not water. <laughs> The problem I have, Lucy, is I can't take any, th any peppermint oil or anything because even that upsets my stomach. Hello, Deb. How are you? Hi, Flower. <laughs> oh, I think it's just me, Jane. I'm one of them people anyway who suffers with stomach problems. If I get a bit anxious or anything like that. Anyway, you don't want to listen to my problems. Pro and Samantha's proper tired today. Maybe that's what my problem is because sometimes if I'm tired, I feel bleh. No, not off lockdown, Isabel, no, but people are having, like, street parties, but they're having their table on their lawn, so nobody's getting close to each other, but they're doing it from a distance. So that's what they're doing. And Jennifer's migraine kicked off yesterday. Well, we're all doing really well, aren't we? <laughs> yes, we're waiting on news, Isabel. Apparently, I think it's this week, but I don't think we should come out of lockdown anyway. It does affect us in different ways, Jane. I agree. I agree. Hello, Jennifer. So now I think they're going to discuss it next week. But I don't think we should. I don't think we should come out of lockdown. No, I can't drink peppermint tea either. 
Ooh, no. Good afternoon, Sarah John. How are you? Hello, Satchu. Hello, Lindy. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Good afternoon, Jill. I suffer with IBS. It's a pain if you excuse the pun. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it is. I think mine's more of a an anxious thing. It's weird. Very strange. It comes over me in waves. Oh, no. And Anita's got an upset tummy as well. Yeah, mine's coming over, over me in waves. Sort of a wave and then I'm all right and then I'm not. Very strange. My neighbour... Your neighbour has friends. Oh, dear, Liz. That's not good, is it? And it's a warm day in Western Washington. That's what amazes me about Facebook Lives. Western Washington. Watching but not listening as craft room too hot. So fit up in the lounge. Good for you, Leslie. I'm glad you've got your feet up. And let me put enjoy your feet up, Leslie. Enjoy your feet up, Leslie. <laughs> so Leslie's not got the sound on. Oh, no, it's nice. It's nice having the company. Sometimes when you have a chat, you just feel a bit better, don't you? It's way too early. <laughs> Is it way too early? Add a text from NH... Oh, yes, it is too early for bringing the lockdown. I had a text from the NHS to say I have to stay in till the 30th of June. That's the same as my dad, Janet. My dad can't go out. Hi, Debbie. When I was in my 20s, got replaced with migraine, my weak point. I think we should stay in lockdown as well, Lucy. Absolutely. My neighbour has friends round. Why have they got friends round, Liz? You shouldn't be having friends round. I mean, 30,000 people and they've got friends round. I mean, it just amazes me. It really does amaze me. Hello, Maggie. No, I think we should stay in lockdown definitely for the whole of June. Absolutely. I would love to go out. I would love to go to the garden centres I normally visit. But I'm sorry, I don't think we should. Yes, and me, Jane. But no, I don't think we should come out of lockdown. Uh, it, it, I think it'll ruin all the good work. You know, and, and it's it's for the safety of everybody. It's not thinking about just one person. It's for the safety of everybody. There will be a street party today. Some people didn't realise how serious things are. Yes. 15 weeks inside. Wow. Hi all, I just say hello and goodbye, dinner cooking till later. Stay safe, our boo. Hello there. I'm Pat's in the garden with the computer in a box to shield from the sun. <laughs> Good afternoon, Wendy. No, I just get anxious anyway, Isabel, over the slightest thing. But no, I won't be going out. When I said they shouldn't be, they said they're staying two metres apart. Oh, it's crazy, isn't it, Liz? Oh, what did he bring, Joanna? What did Postman bring? What did your Postman bring? Some of the names I've had. I can't believe that. No, I totally agree. So go on, Joanna. What did the, the Postman bring? I agree. It is, it's too soon. Hello, Sue. Hello there. So I think we've got a few now. I don't think we'll get many more because of what's happening. I'm shielding. Haven't been anywhere except Essential Food Shop for six weeks. I haven't been out for ages now. I can't even remember. In fact, my brain's all mush. I keep sending wrong messages to the wrong people. <laughs> you would think the lockdown was over here. Tons of people out and about with friends. Really, Debbie? Wow. Oh, so Jane says lockdown will remain for three weeks with a few adjustments. No, I wouldn't either, Jane. Oh, I have. Sorry. <laughs> hey up, Caroline. Happy VE Day. 75 years. Wow. Wow. Oh, some beautiful stamps from Stampers Grove. Paper and oxides. Oh, lovely, Joanna. I hope you enjoy using them. <laughs> Leslie got some vintage watch parts from Amazon. Wow, that's fab. That's brilliant. Hello, Michelle. Oh, no, Isabel, that doesn't sound very good. 
Oh, and your new grandson was born on the 3rd of April, Karen. Oh, I hope you've got lots of pictures. Bless you, Joanna. It was very organised. Oh. Oh, and Patricia's had some Tim Holtz goodies. Ooh. Of course I'm still in my pyjamas, Carol. Of course I am. I do wash them, honestly. <laughs> I do wash them. Hello, Pam. How are you? Good afternoon. Same here, Maggie. Only nine weeks here. Wow. I'm having another drink of water. I look like it's gin, but it isn't, I promise. Calico should arrive tomorrow. Yay, Leslie. I love calico. Look, I've got my calico bits ready here. So we're going to use the frog today. Hello, Sue. How are you? Same birthday as me, Karen. Is it somebody's birthday today and I've missed it? I'm using the frog today. No rude words or anything today. Now keep now you've got to behave, okay? And Maureen's having a PJ day tomorrow. I am tomorrow, Maureen, after my workshop. New pay, new PJs. Happy birthday for them then, Christine. So yes, yeah, so no rude comments. And Marianne just finished my bike ride. Marianne, you're too energetic. Ugh. Bike ride. After yesterday, I've ordered some calico from Amazon for three ninety nine and free postage. Well, you can't get better than that, Jennifer, can you? Hello, Marion. On a day off, it's bank. Yeah, they'll be on a day off today, won't they? I didn't see the Tim Holtz programme. Was there anything good on it, Ribbit? I actually dressed today for VE Day. Did you dress in? Did you put a dress on, Liz? I've been in lockdown since. Uh, since it started, I've been in lockdown. I've been in pyjamas since the lockdown. We have to keep it clean. No bonking frogs. <laughs> oh, bless. Hello, Maria. <laughs> Can't Jane, behave. Right, so I've got one project I'm going to make. And I've done one project to show you what I've done with him. So I've done one in vintage, because you know I have to do it in vintage, don't you? My manager won't let me work because I use asthma pumps and I'm shielding. Because, yes, exactly, Wendy. I've got the same problem looking after our dads. The calico was for, hang on, hang on, Christine. <laughs> I'm trying to reach. The calico was, we used it for this piece, Christine, with the pear stamp. So we use the calico in the background. Spoil sport. <laughs> no, as I was disappointed in the items. Oh, I'm glad I didn't miss anything then. <laughs> so the calico was for this piece. And I'm tilting it on one side because it's got a shiny element. That's why it's on one side. I'm not going mental. So that's why we used the, the calico yesterday. It was good yesterday. I really enjoyed yesterday. Distress crayons, stencil stamps, and it was it the new stamps. It's 49 days for us. Oh, there you go. You were all disappointed. That's all right, then. You get to watch me instead. <laughs> you, you, oh, I did. I, do, I did use the B word, Mary. I'm sorry. That wasn't my fault. That was Jane's fault. <laughs> so this is one project I've made, and I've done it in vintage tones. So this is one project I made last night. So I, I, I fancied just creating something with the frog and I've added sort of several layers of the frog together with calico. Distress cranes looked a mess. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> did you stamp onto the calico, Tracy? I did, Christine, like I've done here as well. But the frog has got sort of three layers. Can you see? He's got three layers. Ain't he lovely? Not new stamps, but good bargains on distress crayons. Ah, oh, right. Thanks, Anne. That may be something that Abs will be pleased with. But yes, so I've added, I've created the frog piece in vintage. Do you like me little vintage pegs? Look at me little vintage pegs. I found them in my drawer. Vintage pegs. But ain't he lovely? He doesn't have to be colourful, but I've done him in vintage. The demo, oh dear Maureen. Mind you, wait till you see my demo. Give me a chance yet, Maureen. There, there's still time. <laughs> so that's my frog, and I think he's lovely in vintage. 
I wore a bra for the first time in seven weeks. <laughs> they should be banned, shouldn't they, Sue? Ain't he lovely in vintage? And just add it. And the, the calico is so textural. It's lovely. I love it. I love that. I keep touching this piece. I keep touching this one. Is that a bit weird? Is, it, is that a bit weird, do you think? <laughs> Show pegs closer, please. And there you go. Pegs. Look at that little peg. Do you remember them as a child? <laughs> There's the peg. It's only little. It's only a little peg. It's not a big, a big peg. It's a little one. Yeah, I need a spring on him, then he could be boinging. <laughs> oh, bless you, Maureen. They will be out of stock next. What will? Oh, the pe you can't buy these. These are vintage ones, little vintage pegs. I got them vintage. Are you frightened to death of frogs, Liz? Oh, no. This one won't frighten you, Liz. This one's lovely. This one doesn't frighten anybody. I mean, look at that face. It's a face only I could love. Do you remember the pegs when you were little, Margaret? Oh, they're cute. They're vintage like me. <laughs> little, little dolly pegs, but they're not the big ones. They're little ones. Right, that's me waffling for, for the minute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a circular piece. Now, where's... I haven't got any plastic, but I haven't used the crown this time because the crown fits on top of the frog, but I haven't used it this time. Focus now, Tracy. <laughs> Do they call them dolly pegs, even though they, even though they're little ones? Because I've got dolly pegs, which are big ones, but these are how big are these? Let me measure how big these are. Hang on. Let me measure how big these are. Oh, I can't get comfortable. Just looking at him is making me jittery. Oh, bless you, Liz. I'm sorry. He's a nice frog. They're only two and a half inches. Them, them pegs. Two and a half inches. There's no answer to that. <laughs> Couldn't work out why he was looking at me funny until I realised I had my dress on inside out. <laughs> Whoops, Leslie. Oh, I missed what Tracy Dawkins said. I missed that. Right, so we're going to do a colourful piece this time. I would leave home, neighbourhood, country, county and country. Oh, what am I missing? Oh, you could put little faces on them. I thought them were the big dolly pegs, though, that you used to make dolls out of. These are tiny. You could still make little dolls out of them, exactly. You see, you're all so creative. So we're going to use the frog. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to distress the edges first, just of my card. Baby dolly pegs, they're super cute. Hi, Mimi. They're super cute. Mind you, it doesn't take much to make me happy, seriously. The calico, I got mine from Amazon. It was only £3 something. The calico was. I didn't pay expensive for it, I know that much. He makes me smile as well, Jenny. I need something to make me smile. He's lovely. I am slightly biased, but there you go. So I'm just distressing the edges just to irritate you a bit while I scrape the card because I want distressed edges and I've got calico on eBay there you go where did you get Cal hi Tracy I've not missed any Tracy what are you like <laughs> Isabel thinks I've lost the plot I was saying a rude word to my husband when the postie turned up the other day front door was wide open <laughs> so funny Lucy it is 300 GSM, excuse me, 300 GSM card, Rizwana, yes. Because I like to work on that. I am slightly odd, don't you think, Karen? <laughs> we like, oh, free P&P, &P, even better. So these are the colours. I'm. Oh, where's my colour? There we go. And that one. Them are the colours I'm going to use this time. So I'm going to use pistachio beanstalk and aquamarine today because i just liked them colors i paid 2.99 yay leslie's showing off now been doing prep for tomorrow has somebody got you doing prep ad who's got you doing prep i wonder what fool that was 
wonky pears, nips and bonking frogs. You see, Isabel, it's always entertaining here. <laughs> I'm not odd at all. <laughs> Tracy Dawkins, I got my Parisa powder today. What the heck is Parisa powder? I see Mr Frog has come out to play. He has Belinda. Mr Frog, look Belinda. Look Belinda, the vint he's vintage, look. He's lovely. Mr Frog's come out. Don't you think he's fab? I think he's lovely. He's fit, it's vintage frog with vintage pegs. Because it's just what you want, isn't it? Vintage frogs and pegs. I'm not normal at all. It all goes downhill from here. Exactly, Jane. All downhill for here. Oh, well, what the heck. Don't you think my braille looks a nice colour? I think it looks a lovely colour. I think I've lost the plot. I've lost the plot. I love these colours. But then, I like, you know, I'll have a go at any colours. You know, you should know that by now. So we've got pistachio, beanstalk. He looks good with the number stamp, don't he, Belinda? How are you, anyway? So we're just going to use the two colours together. And they got good reviews. I always check. I check as well, Leslie. That's brilliant. I didn't pay much for mine. Nope, not normal. <laughs> I wondered what Parisa powder was. I was thinking, what is it? Parisa is a wow embossing powder mix of gold and bronze. Ah, oh, got you. I'm always happy, Belinda. Oh, there's a nice hair. There's a piece of calico hair on me brayy. That's really lovely. One disadvantage of using calico, you get hair all over it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to concentrate my colours here in this area. Now, if you keep going over with your brayer, it you'll get a lovely, beautiful brent, blend. Brend? Brend? Blend. With the free stamps you had done, step by steps and sides, Kira asked before looking in, was that Tracy Evans stamps on the outside? Oh, bless. Kira's getting to know my style now, you see. So I'm just adding a little bit more paint. And I like to add little bits to time and then I can blend them. I know, I don't know what normal is anyway. And, and since the lockdown, I'd, I've got a, I haven't got a clue what normal is anyway. So I'm just adding, I don't want to cover the whole area. I just want to keep it to this area. I don't want to sort of use the whole lot. I just want that area there. Tracy Dawkins, I know you wouldn't let me down. The number of the stamp set is... I never know the numbers now, because look, 327 it's up to now. That, that good question. Don't think there is any of that here. <laughs> you have an odd but unique style. I like being odd and unique, Isabel. That's what I like. Odd and unique. That's me all over. <laughs> Don't want to be boring. So it's 327. There you go, Debbie. 327. So I'm just going to mop that up because there's hardly any paint there anyway. So we'll just mop that up. I'm just going to get me bin. Just so that I don't chuck the baby wipes on the floor. You're very welcome, Debbie. Welcome to the land of odd. We need, we definitely need a sentiment, don't we? Welcome to the land of odd. And then we could stamp that on everything, couldn't we? <laughs> so what, Jane says you could never be boring. So what we've got now is aquamarine, just to lift it a little bit. So I'm just going to add a little touch of the aquamarine. Not much, just a little bit. And as you know, I always bray out my paints first and then go on to the project. That's all I need. I don't need any more. Just a tiny amount brayed onto the background. <laughs> what? I know, and it's driving me nuts. What is driving you nuts? Oh, still not available. I think, I know that Frantic Stamper have ordered them. Perhaps they're not putting them online until they've arrived. Because obviously they've got to be delivered to the States. So perhaps they're waiting until they arrive. I need our typed comments to be in larger font. I'm not quite there yet, Belinda. I can still read, apart from some names. 
and then I have to get really close but I try but you can see that that turquoise just gives it a bit of vibrancy yeah I thought that's what Fran would say Gayla thought that she has a pre-order section for them yeah some are, some are available and some are on pre-order but for Top Flight and Fran um, they'll, they'll be waiting for them to be delivered because Top Flight have got them as well so we've got a lovely blue there and what I'm thinking is my frog will go sort of here so I want to stamp the ribbit word oh no I don't I want to add some stenciling I'm going to add some stenciling first so I'm going to use honeydew because that will be a nice contrast but pre-order isn't loaded with anything yet oh right Belinda I see took me two days to find my brayer found it in the kitchen why is your brayer in the kitchen it's a piece of card Karen that I will add hang on I I create the card and then I'll add it to a canvas a canvas board so I'll add it to a canvas board afterwards because then it'll make it nice and sturdy. So I'll add it to the canvas board afterwards. It's better to type in caps. So the pear stamp has been sent out on the 18th. Brilliant. Thanks for that information, Leslie. So it's not too long away. At least by the time you get them, you'll have some inspiration. Where is your other piece of card today, Tracy? Oh, when I get the extra background because I didn't have much paint so there'd hardly be anything. It was quite dry because I'm only using tiny amounts of paint this time. There's nothing on the brayer. It's bone dry. So there was nothing hardly there because normally I would just do that. I would have the one on the side. So, yes, I would normally do that, Wendy. Circle board not available. Oh, please tell me they are not gone now as well. You're joking me. Sorry I am late, teacher. That's fine, Jackie. I'm surprised you're not super busy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this honeydew on my stencil. Got your money and you not got st got your money and you've not got stamps. Very bad. Oh bless. Not a happy Oh, hang on, why is Maureen not a happy bunny? What have I missed? Card. What have I missed? Why is Maureen not a happy bunny? There's that many comments. I've missed them now. <clears throat> Debbie's PC is driving her mad. It doesn't matter, Sue. It's nice to have a call from your son. Exactly. Cut out of Mountboard, Jane. Or, as Lucy said, cake boards. Lucy mentioned using cake boards. That's a good alternative as well. So I'm just going to add this cream paint to my stencil just to part of the stencil and then I'm going to spritz the stencil with water just part of it not all of it and then bring that onto my background oh there you go Sue's found some round boards as well but good idea of Lucy's you could use cake boards so there's always an alternative we can use, definitely. So look how that just gives it a little bit of life. Just to add that little touch of stenciling. Now I've got a bit of paint left here, Wendy. So I will brayer that on because there's a little bit of paint. But not much again, but I'll still brayer that bit. Amazon have a pack of cake boards. Yeah, exactly. Something that you can get cheap. And then you can use it loads of times while you're in lockdown. So you can do more than one project. But I thought Lucy's idea was fab with the cake tins. So look at that. And we've only done a little back background. If people are making cake, can I have some? <laughs> Lucy. You should know well that I am not baking cakes. No way. So that's our some of our background. And I just love that cream on top of those colours. 
I think I can buy cake boards at my grocery where I work. There you go, Belinda. Fab idea. If you haven't got these, and that, sorry, that idea was by Lucy. So, oh, let me just point you something else out to you as well from Tracy Dawkins. Do you remember these t this tape I use? C Hubby's cut me some hardboard. Wow, perfect, Nicola. Absolutely perfect. Do you remember this tape that I use? Tracy Dawkins mentioned to me that the back peels off and I didn't know but you've actually got the letters that you could use alcohol inks on a top tip by Tracy Dawkins can you see I don't bet you can't see it who said cake I'm stewing fruit to make bar of birth tea bread oh lovely so it peels off the back does and then it's sticky and then you've got them letters on the clear plastic that you could add alcohol inks to Top tip from Tracy Dawkins. Just thought I'd mention that while I, while I remembered. Just while I remembered. Just dawned on me. So what I'm going to do now... I didn't know that either until Tracy told me. Got the, the tape on advance order from Amazon. Brilliant. Well, remember then, um, Janet, that you can peel this away and it's sticky. It's a flipping pain to get it off the back. But I got it off eventually, and you could use alcohol inks on that. So it would look brilliant. Looks really good. So if you used alcohol inks, it would work really well. Exactly. Another top tip. You see, that's what we're all here for, top tips. We're such a clever lot, aren't we? We're a clever lot. So we're now going to use the ribbit stamp. And I just want to stamp it randomly. One of my favourite cakes and so easy. It is a good idea, isn't it, from Tracy? So I'm just adding some random stamping because some of it will be covered up, but that's not a problem. I'm just adding some random stamping. I've made something that looks like washi tape typed onto tracing paper and then added double-sided sticky tape you see you clever lot you're all so clever i've got a dymo exactly well and there you go if you've got a di uh, one of them things yes i haven't got one of them but yes perfect so i'm just adding ribbit stamped randomly in the background just to give it another interest in the background I just discovered you can use empty sellotape rolls and use for washi tape dispenser yes Belinda another top tip what's your favorite brand of ink pad is that to me Colleen it favorite ink pads are very subjective it depends what you're doing it depends what you're doing. If I'm stamping and it's a detailed stamp and I want a crisp image and I want it to pick all the detail, then it has to be Versafine or Versafine Claire. I like archival, but only if it's not for a de too detailed a stamp. Because if, it's, if the stamp's too big, the archival dries too quickly. But still a, a brilliant ink pad. So it depends what you're using them for. I love my Distress Oxides because they're reactive with water and they give a totally different effect. So yes, everything's different. Stampers Grove tell you that there are pre-ordered dates on the new stamps. Yes, they do, Jennifer. Yes. So yes, some are on pre-order. But just think, when you get the stamps, you'll have so much inspiration, you'll just be flying ahead with all your projects. And you won't. I'm so late. Don't worry, Hope. My parents used to talk about bar of birth. I've never heard of it. Bar of birth cake. Never heard of it. Can I, Tracy Dawkins, can I ask which tape printer you have? It doesn't matter that you're late, Sue. So I've now got this background. And what I want to do now is get a separate piece of card for me frog. Just bear with me. I need a separate piece of card for my frog. So we're just going to move this background piece out the way. 
and then what I'm going to do let me just make this a bit smaller so that we can fit the frog on oh thank you Belinda I'm glad you've liked the makes I've enjoyed making them I really enjoyed making the frog one yesterday last night and the pear one so I'm just adding ink direct to paper direct to card and I'm using evergreen bow and broken china just to give me a nice colour it, I don't know I don't it's the Tim Holtz new tape that Tracy uses all the time yes I didn't realise it was self-adhesive that's why I was sticking it down but it's actually self-adhesive it's because it took me ages to get it off but it's actually self-adhesive but I use this all the time it's a Tim tape I'm from South Wales Barack Brith and Welsh cakes I know Welsh cakes but Barra Brith oh Brith <laughs> Barra Brith cake Barra Brith never heard of it there you go I'm educated as well when we do these Facebook lives Barra Brith is like a tea cake oh I'd like that then I like tea cakes oh I, I, I can't pronounce anything for love and money come on you know what I'm like so now I'm going to stamp the frog so I'm going to stamp the frog on this direct to paper background oops sorry correct text it's like a fruit loaf oh I'd love that then I'd love that if it's like a fruit loaf yes I'd enjoy that so I'm just inking up my frog just giving him a good inking And I'm going to stamp him onto the back of the background. But a bit is lovely. Tea loaf, various names depending on. You see, I know tea loaf, but I'd never heard of it called that before. That's my ignorance, you see. I didn't realise. I've got so much stuff on my desk, I can't move anywhere. Let me just move this out the way. Let me move that. That's better. I can actually move now. My mother-in-law used to make them all the time. As cannot have eggs. Oh, right, Belinda. I don't do much baking, but my daughter started to do some baking. She's quite enjoying it. I love the frog, Serena. He's, fu he's fun. He's fun. So I'm just making sure that that ink is resting on the card. If you don't allow it to rest, that's when you don't get a good print. I mean, we all make mistakes, but... You need to make sure that you just allow the ink to rest on the card, especially if you're using a wet surface. They're fairly cheap. Yeah, Dymo machines are fairly cheap, aren't they? They're not expensive. I've been told that. I've been told they're not expensive. So there's our frog, which are then spritzed with water just to add. But I have done one that I've done earlier, so don't worry. Which one have you bought? It's Welsh, Tracy. Ah, oh, right, okay. I've seen it for sale on... Yeah, Country View, I saw it for sale. So, I've done one frog I've done earlier. And what I've done is I've coloured the inside bit. I'm just going to have a drink of water. There are cheap and some are three tape rolls. Oh, right. So if we bring in our background. No, I've not heard of it, Lucy, I must admit. So this is where my frog's going to go. I'm wondering if getting a Dymo machine would be cheaper. I would have thought so, Debbie. It just depends how much the refills are, I suppose. Depends how much the refills are. But I would have thought so need to buy another I've lost my nails and I can't type anymore <laughs> can't you type hope so I'm going to add the little embroidery hoop here like so but I want to paint it in the cream color so he's going to come down here I have to talk to myself you do know that don't you I'm just going to get some cut and dry 
Oh, so, some people have got the brother things. I've seen them advertised, the brother ones where you just type it in and then... I'm sure that was on a chander or something. I'm just painting this in the cream colour. Just so that it ties in with our background. Is it delicious, Michelle? I'll have to try some. Oh, and you can buy different colour tapes. Yeah, so you have to check what will what will work for you. I mean, I'm I'm embellishment mad. I am. I always have been. So I'm just adding some cream paint to my embroidery hoop because I don't want it in the wood colour. I want the cream colour. So I'm just adding a bit more paint. It may be very similar. You don't have to eat the frog. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm definitely not going to eat the poor frog. That's something I'm definitely not going to do. Then I'm going to add a touch of this green just to the embroidery hoop. Just to so it all coordinates with the background. I love how you all know where to shop. I'm going shopping for plants after because I want to do some gardening next week. Or well, that's the plan anyway. So that just makes it a little bit, a touch of green, not, not totally, just a touch with the cream. So I'm just adding that green just to tone it down a little bit. Just to tone that wood down. And it just gives it a little bit more interest there we go so I'll just leave that on one side at the minute wipe my hands tried frog's legs once no meat on <laughs> oh the poor frog's legs there's definitely no meat on the frog's legs that is so fun there's no meat on them no definitely not <laughs> the skinny little things so like sticker rolls I love how you're all answering each other so now I'm going to add some numbers to the background so I'm going to do that in black so I'm going to use the um what stamp is it called this one splattered numbers so I'm going to use splattered numbers in the background just because I want to add some random numbers oh quite a few of you have got brother machines I haven't, I haven't got a brother machine. Do I need a brother machine? Are you tempting me with a brother machine? Do I need one? So I'm just going to stamp this here. The P Touch by Brother is fab. So I presume you just type in your word and then it comes printing out, does it? Yes, that's much better with a touch of black. So put that there, like so. So I want some down here. What we're saying, what's happened to the little hearts on the back burner, Tracy? The little hearts? What's happened to the little hearts on the back burner, Tracy? What little hearts? On the back burner? Um, you've got me guessing now. What's happened to the little hearts on the back burner? Come on, Patricia, give me a clue. Give me a clue what the hearts are on the back burner. Because now you've got me guessing. I'm thinking, the hearts on the back burner. There you go. A mind's made up, a mind's made up now. I want to know what Patricia's talking about. Stamp, Tracy. Heart stamp. What heart stamp? I'm gone. You've all got me guessing now. What heart stamp? The little heart stamp. Oh, sorry. Yes. Do you know, I am. So, whoops. I am so dense. I was thinking this one. No, this is still out. Look at it. Look at the state of it. Heartfelt. No, that's never on the back burner. That's look at the state of it. It's out all the time. 
I, I don't lose that, no. That's out all the time, that is. No, we don't lose that. Absolutely never. I was thinking, the heart stamp, what are they on about? <laughs> Happy VE Day, Kay. That really challenged me. I've got it, Serena. I finally got it. I finally got it. It took a bit, it took a while, but I got there in the end. I'm a bit slow. Hey, listen, I'm trying to make a project and keep up with what you're all saying. So I'm now going to add this here. Like so. So yes, I never I never lose 304 ever. So we're just going to add that there. I'm just planning my project because it's going here like this. And then that's going over there like that. And that needs a bit of turquoise on it now, that does. Needs a bit of turquoise. This is how projects come together. What are we saying? My sumo letter tag helps me add name to stamps in their folders. That's very efficient, Catherine. I need two heads, don't I, Patricia? Honestly, I was like, pardon? What heart stamp? I was thinking I'd left a heart stamp there. At the, at the top somewhere. And now I know what you mean, you see. I didn't say that I bought any brain cells with me when I did a Facebook Live. I didn't say that any brain cells were involved. So, no. But now I understand, you see. You were saying, has it now gone on the back burner? No. I love that stamp. Absolutely love that stamp. So what I'm going to do is this is going to go here like this. Like so. And then we could even use the little stamp set 304 so that it doesn't feel left out. I love this number stamp. Cannot stop using it. Cannot stop using it. But I love the size. I've, I'm, I'm always like this over the sizes of the A7 stamps. They're brilliant. And this is for Wendy, just so she knows I'm braying off. So I'm just going to add some of this. You see, this stamp, you just can't go wrong with this stamp. You can't go wrong with it. I love it. I love this stamp. Never, never tire of it. I was really pleased with it, Belinda. Really pleased with it. But I must admit, when I used the pair yesterday, I do think once you start using them, you fall in love more once you start using them. No problem, Andrea. Once you start using them, you, you definitely fall in love more. So this is going here like so this is going to go here like so so what I'm going to do is stick my frog down see you later Andrea so I'm going to stick my frog down but I don't want to stick his legs down the text that text stamp is brilliant Samantha the text stamp is this one the little that's the one I u I've used it so much that the stamp is filthy. I just use it all the time. It looks lovely. I love it. So we're just going to place the frog there. Just let me make sure I've got it in the right place. That's it. I'm then going to add the embroidery hoop over the top and then I'll pull his feet out like so. so uh, oh no, hope you feel better soon, Jennifer. Oh, what's wrong with Jennifer? What's wrong with Jennifer? Is Jennifer not very well? Have I just missed that? That's the problem when you're engrossed in creating. Hope you feel better, Jennifer. I missed the comment. I do apologise. Let me just get my... Where's my scissors? So I'm now going to lift my frog slightly. That's it. Lift his feet. 
parts better. I'm just lifting my frog slightly, just so that it doesn't look too flat. That's better. He looks a bit more dimensional now. What are we saying? Your eyes are not focusing yet, Belinda. <laughs> they, that's the problem, Belinda. They roll really fast, don't they? The comments. So then you miss some of the comments. And I'm thinking, what's everybody talking about? Get well, Jennifer. I missed that. So sending hugs, Jennifer. And I do apologise that I missed the comment. So what I've got now is... The colours are just a bit different from the vintage one, isn't it, Fiona? If you look at the vintage one, it's just to show you as many ideas because this is vintage and has got no colour, but I still love that. But then you can have him in colour as well. It doesn't have to be in browns. But what I've got here is one of the optical lenses, which I'm going to add over the top, like so. Just to add this. Oh, hang on, I know what I want to add. I want to add a, um, a piece of mica. I should have added that beforehand. Let me just rip this mica. Oh, Jennifer has a migraine. Oh, sorry, Jennifer. Sending hugs. There's nothing worse, is there, when you're not feeling very well. You just can't focus or function. It's, it's very difficult. Just going to hold that down. I hope somebody's going to answer the door because the door's just rang. Are you all right, ladies, while I go and answer the door? Can you entertain yourselves? Bear with me a sec. Just stay there, stay there. Oh, he's still here. Sorry. Sorry. I had to run downstairs to answer the door because nobody else had heard it. Sorry about that. Oh, just wipe my hands. Sorry. Right. Let's try again. Keeps me sane, Patricia says. Oh, bless you. Thank you for not going anywhere. So I've just added a piece of mica to my frog. Just a piece of mica to the frog, and then I'm going to add this. Oh, I'm not very, I'm not very fit. Not very fit at all. What are we saying? Let's be naughty. Don't you be naughty. You're so incorrigible. So I'm just going to add this over the top. And that will take a bit to dry. So placing that over the top. <laughs> I ran. <laughs> Hello, Kira. Hello there. Let's be naughty. You're just all so bad. Ah, oh, so I've got nowhere to put my water. So we've got the frog, which you can't see because it's shining. And then what I'm going to do is bring in some calico. I use some summer triptan. Oh, for migraines. Oh, thank you for sharing, Maureen. Bless you. Thank you. I do appreciate it. So I'm going to. Add, I'm just talking to myself now while I, I try to decide what I'm doing next. So I'm going to get the stamp. Where's it gone? I've just chucked the stamps. If any of you do Facebook Lives, you'll realise what it's like because you end up chucking everything everywhere. So just get the stamps now and I want the word frog. Will that fit or will that? I need a bigger piece of calico now. Well, I want the word frog, so I'm going to have to I'm going to have to cut a bigger piece of calico. Oh, how terrible. I'm with you, Jennifer. Again, the bonking. <laughs> Did you try to explain to your husband, Hope? Oh, I would love to have been there when you explained to your husband what we were talking about. 
that would be hilarious hope trying to explain ribbit ribbit at the same time no i don't want that it's too thick so i want ribbit sorry i'm changing my mind it's just the way i am so let's have ribbit and then i'll use frog further up do you talk to yourself when you're crafting because i do i talk to myself all the time so let's take this He's very dense about my... <laughs> Is he very dense, Hope? Oh. So ribbit. Like so. I do like the sentiments on calico. I do like adding them to calico. And that will go there like that. That's it. I do like the sentiments on calico. I just think they look very classy and it looks a bit different as well not just the the same I'm going to add that there I've tried to explain to my husband about bonking frogs the postman would appear <laughs> I talk to myself, I'm getting worse. I've noticed in this lockdown, I am getting decidedly worse. The amount of times that I talk to myself. And I can't help it either. I can't help it. So, what, do, what have I got on here now? What do I want? I'm talking to myself again. Frog. We want frog. I'm going to use the frog part because I just like that. Do you like the iris stamp, Jane? Has it, has it come? Did, you've got it, haven't you, Jane? It's nice, I like that. Where did you, where did that mic come from? If anyone here likes Elizabeth Craft Designs, it's on a Chanda Today One Day Special. Oh, right, thanks, Belinda. So I'm just going to add this. My one day special is not till the 18th. So I'm just going to add frog here. You see, I just think them sentiments on calico look brilliant. They look fab. And let's have a few threads as well. What are we saying? We have been yanking on Bray. What? We will be yanking our brayers tomorrow. <laughs> brayers? Yes, there's a bit of brayer work. There's finger painting tomorrow. So we just make it so some of these threads. I hope so, Belinda. So I'm now going to add this to here. You see, I just love the calico. I like it when designs inspire me. Answer myself all the time. I answer myself all the time as well, Patricia. Or were you talking to me and I'm not answering you? Because that would be standard practice as well. I'm really good at comments flashing by and then someone says, oh, you didn't answer me. Down and dirty with Tracy. <laughs> yeah, down and dirty with Tracy. Oh, good grief. Just, just doesn't bear thinking about, does it really? It really doesn't bear thinking about. You see, I'm loving that. I, I do wonder whether you lot all talk to yourself. Yes, we want an index clip. I caught myself asking the cat why the dog was being so silly. That w no, You see, that doesn't surprise me in the slightest, you see, Sue, because I talk to my dogs all the time. So that doesn't surprise me at all. So I'm adding an index clip. No surprise there. You see, we're educating Hope and her husband we're educating. See, what other Facebook lives do you get where you get so much education in one place? I know what I'm doing now. Finger painting tomorrow. And I'm adding this index clip. So can you see where I've added... Oops, let me get it right first. I've added this index clip 
so it appears over the number. So I've added the index clip so it appears over that number 7. Can you see? So it's just little touches like that so that you've got the little 7 visible underneath the index clip. So the little touches like that that I like. I love the little touches. Absolutely love the little touches. And I just need another piece of calico here. The next work the next workshop, Nicola, after tomorrow is this one. The next workshop after tomorrow is this one. It's the circular canvas. It's quite heavy actually. It's this one. That's what we're doing after tomorrow. In two weeks time. That's the next one. I like the mica, Anne. I love the mica. It's just a different look. Because look at the frog. Isn't he lovely with the mica? He's got mica. I think he looks fab. And it's just the little touches. Like the index clip over the number seven. I love that. I love that. Thank you, Lucy. So I'm just going to add another little calico piece here. So we need another... Oh, I know, we'll have leap. We'll have leap. Leapfrog. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm so childish. Will you send us what we all need? It's all in the group, Isabel. Whenever you pay and join the group, all the products are in the group. They're all in there so you can see them. So I'm using the word leap. I'm really enjoying this. I love being creative. It just takes your mind off everything. Leap. The man stamp. Is that only available in the large stamp set? It is, yes. It's in the large stamp set. Yes, it's only available in that one. But you can use anything you want. Anything you want at all. Just going to... That's better. Going to put... Oh, yes, you see, that's much better. Just add that. What are we saying? Can I ask what stamp I can use instead of the grunge flower one tomorrow? Which one can... You could use the... Um, there's another A4 one that's got flowers on but loads of background. You need something with background detail so you can stamp some background detail. Let me show you my... Let me show you. Where's my book? I've got stuff everywhere. You need something, Lucy, that you can use so you can stamp little background details on the background pieces. Just so you can add little background details. But if you've got the pencil stamp, you can use that on every one. But it's so that you've got some background details. There's a street party on our road, so I've got the windows open listening to the music. Oh, how lovely, Mimi. A lovely Mimi. I remember pray, play, pray, playing Leapfrog as well. I remember that. I used to thoroughly enjoy it. So that's that. We're nearing the end now. How long have I been on? We're not do I'm getting good now at trying to time the Facebook Lives. Oh, thank you, Janet. Thank you. I'm just going to finish it off with a tiny bit of turquoise paint. Just a tiny bit. I'm going to brayer it out. And then I'm going to go across the edges like so, just to add a touches of the turquoise around my canvas piece, just to add some little touches. It'll only be little touches because I don't want to add too much. Like so. Just move this out the way. I ordered stamps and inks so can't do a live. I ordered stamps and ink pads so can't do a live. It doesn't matter if you don't do it live, Diane. That's not a problem. You can watch on catch up. Do it at your own pace. It doesn't have to be live. Let me just put this. So when you put this on your canvas, this is what you end up with. 
So you would stick that on your canvas. And then if we just tilt it, you can see the mica in the project. But I just love the fact that the index clip looks over the number seven. And then you've got the optical lens that focuses on the flower. So I just love those little details in the background. And it's two different projects so that your frog looks completely different. Just to give you a couple of ideas so they look completely different. Let's move that out the way. Where can I get the mica? The mica is, let me get the pack. The mica is quite old, it's a US art quest thing. But I've had these for ages, mica tiles. But I'd just do a search, <coughs> a search for mica tiles, Hope. And then you might find some. Get, you, still get, you, can, you can still get mica sheets. I think you can, yeah? I'm taking a break from the workshop in two weeks' time. I haven't eaten. That's all right, Serena, not a problem. No problem at all. Feel better, Leslie. Yes, feel better soon. Thank you, Isabel. So I love, I like adding lots of layers. They just bring a project to life for me. I just think that they both show two different ways of using the frog. Because you don't want your stamps to be too limiting. You want them to be able to use lots of different ideas. So I love that. And I love the fact it's just all here. And that's all there. I love that. So that's our demo today. What is the mica, please? The mica is just like mica sheets of... Look, you split the sheets up and they're like bits of plasticky sheets. So you could use a bit of acetate, but with acetate you can't tear it. So this gives me jaggedy edges. That's why I like it. It gives me some jagged edges around. So it's just another little element to the design, just to give it some more interest. That's all it is. It's just that I don't like it when anything's too flat. I'd be lost without my dog at the moment. Oh, me too. You like the vintage one, do you, Isabel? I love the vintage one too. I love the vintage one. I think he's lovely. I love the texture. But you have to always remember everybody's got different taste. So some people don't like vintage, some do. So that's it. And I will, I've got a workshop tomorrow, so I won't be here tomorrow. Uh, but hopefully Sunday. It's a mineral. There you go. You could use thick acetate. Exactly, Kay. Thick acetate. So, brilliant. So, thank you very much for your company. And I hope you all have a good evening. Have you ever made scrapbook pages? I think I've done one scrapbook page in my life, Catherine. One. Because I suppose we all stick to what we we enjoy, don't we? Uh, but I haven't done a scrapbook page for a long time. I used to do them when I had the shop. Oh, thank you, Wendy. The workshop is both days, Belinda. Saturday and Sunday. So tomorrow and Sunday. Thank you very much, Isabel. Thank you, Wendy. So I shall see you all. Yes, you might get them on Amazon. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Maureen. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you all Sunday. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye.